What's up, guys? It's your girl, Brianna, a.k.a. Mini Marley, and today I'm going to be the co-host because Stella is here to give you some tips on introducing your baby to the water. Welcome to Swimming 101. So summer is finally here and it's all about having fun in the sun and for me that meant getting Stella in the water and I was really inspired by Michael Phelps and his son Boomer because they're currently training for 2032 and I'm sure Boomer isn't training as hard as Michael but it's all about introducing your baby to the water in a fun and safe way. That's training. So we've teamed up with Huggies Little Simmer's Disposable Swim Pants to show you how we're training for 2032 and give you some tips to get your baby started. All right, let's get in the water. Here's tip one. Stella says that it's best to introduce water to your baby as something fun. Get in slowly and make your baby feel comfortable by gently splashing and laughing with them. Tip number two, once they're feeling the water, Stella recommends bringing your babies close and encouraging them to lay on their backs, almost like in a floating position, because your baby can learn to float and this is a great way to get them started. This little one hates water in her ears, but we're working on it. Tip number three, hold your baby under the arms and sway them from side to side. Stella says this is a great way to give your baby a feel for the water and she also says they'll love it. Tip number four, this little swim instructor says it's important to get your babies used to having water in their face. You can start by cupping some water in your hand and then letting it run down their face. And then once they're okay with it, they're ready for the big leagues. Let's take a dip underwater. Okay, so after all that intense training, Stella says that tip number five is most important of all. Of course, you need to have some fun. So you can use a floaty or just carry your little one in your arms and make some great summertime memories. Stella loves, love, loves this thing, as you can see. So she has really always loved the water and whether it's bath time or beach day, she just loves it. I remember her first time at the beach, she could not get enough. She was like sitting in a little puddle on the sand, splashing and it was just so cute. And we've actually been using Huggy's little swimmer since she could fit into them when she was three months old. And that's exactly what we use today. I just love that they're designed for the water so they don't swell up and Stella can really stay in for a long time and feel comfortable. And and they also open really easily on both sides so they're adjustable and they'll fit your baby. We really hope that you guys will start training for 2032 because we'll definitely be heading to the beach and the pool a few more times this summer. And if you do, comment below and let me know what your baby likes to do most in the water. Alright, peace out guys. We'll see you in the next one.